Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comps. And, you know, when we have a wire break in our vehicle or with our communications equipment or anything in the field, uh, it's no big deal, uh, generally, you know, because we've got our tools. You know, we've got a, you know, we've got a soldering station, we've got scotch locks, we've got heat shrink, we've got a plethora of crimp connectors, we've got strippers and crimping pliers and staking tools and e-tape and all kinds of other goodies. To solve the problem. Well, what happens when all you have is a multi tool, some duct tape, and maybe even some parachute cord? It's important to remember that these are field expedient solutions for temporary problems that may befall you with limited resources. So let's get started. Now, traditionally, you have your two exposed ends of wire. You've seen people just do this before right here. And just twist your wire ends together. And then fold it back on itself. And, you know, it's not a very strong connection. So let's do something a little bit different. Our first splice we're going to do is just a knotted splice. And what you have here is, is you have your two ends of wire that you want to connect together. Take both ends of your wire and measure out about two inches. After you have your measurement, go ahead and open a blade on your multi-tool. And what you want to do is, is you want to expose the wiring. And you can see this right here. And just expose your insulation, or remove your insulation rather. And expose about an inch and a half of wire and leave your insulation intact on the end. After you've prepared both of your ends of wire, what I do is make a simple square knot. And the way I do that is is make a bite in one of my wires, feed my other one through, run it around, just like that, and using the insulation as a guide. and making it even on either end and then just drawing our knot down like that now what we'll do is is we'll take our wire here and start to wrap it on both sides of the knot And we'll have something that looks like that. Now take your fingernails and holding your splice, just go ahead and remove the insulation entirely and just continue to wire wrap until you get back to the insulation. Now you can see that we have an electrically conductive splice that's extremely strong. And what we would do is, is just use our tape card and some of our duct tape or electrical tape if we happen to have it and go ahead and insulate our splice. And we've insulated our temporary splice. The common scenario is, is this wire has been transected and it's installed banjo tight and we don't have enough slack to complete our splice or our knotted splice. What we would do in that case is is we would cannibalize a non-critical circuit to complete this critical circuit and place it back in service by preparing both ends of our wire then 
taking that cannibalized section of wire and making a splice to complete the circuit. And this is our cannibalized wire in our splice here. And all we would do is, is go ahead and insulate it with our tape. If you do lack adhesive tape, but you do have some 550 cord, go ahead and remove the inner strands from a small section of 550 cord and you can make an insulation sleeve and you place this on your wire prior to making your splice. You would make your splice and then take your 550 cord sheath and slide over top of your splice just like that and you have a certain amount of short circuit protection all right, we have an accessory that uses this twin conductor zip cord and we need to power it. Go ahead and prepare your accessory cord. Like let's say you've only got a foot of this right here and this is the only section of this wire you can work with. Go ahead and get your red lead right here and expose about two inches again. Okay, leaving your insulation on, just go ahead and twist this lead here and tighten this wire up as much as you can. And now let's work on our supply, which what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna make a circumferential cut on both sides of this wire and expose about a centimeter. Okay after we make made our circumferential cut and we've exposed the conductor by removing the jacket and on one side or the other and not the middle try to split your conductors here and make a hole Go ahead and take your small wire and insert it as well as you can all the way to the opposite end of insulation and then go ahead and make another stitch. Now, go ahead and run around the outside of the wire. And while you're, while you're whipping it around, go ahead and revolve your wire here. Until it's totally off. Consolidate your splice. After you've consolidated your splice, fold this end back over your splice and take your tape and insulate your splice. When your splice is complete, you can see electrically it's good and it's strong. Now what you would do is, is take your ground wire and do the same thing. And when we did the ground, we just did the same thing. You want to make sure your splices are in different locations. Uh, make sure both are insulated. And if we had to tie in this small circuit into these existing DC wires, we would be good to go. Well, I hope you never end up in a situation to where you have to use a splice like this to complete a critical circuit. But if you do, you've got it in your toolbox. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.